Hey guys, I'm Brooks. And I'm Mandy. So we're husband and wife entrepreneurs, and we believe that life and business are a giant adventure, and we want to live it with you guys. So let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Brooks and Mandy. Hey Mandy. In this episode, we want to talk to you guys about something that's near and dear to our heart. Oh, yeah. And people think we're crazy, Mm -hmm. but that's okay. Definitely. Because we are a little crazy. Sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) You have to be to be in business for yourself and be creating. But so today, we want to talk about this word. We didn't invent this word, but we definitely use it all the time. And the word is... Workation. Yeah, so workations. So we... We take work, so we were just thinking about it before hitting the record button. We kind of like talked about, okay, wait, how many times have we done this? Do we do it systematically, periodically, when we need it? And, and so we don't have a system where where we take a workation. And by one quick sidestep, the definition, I'm sure you can figure out, but a workation, it's a mix between doing work, getting work done, and taking a vacation. So definition we take a short trip we go somewhere we get work done we get to focus and we'll go into that a little bit more uh in in a moment but we also get to try something new maybe it's a restaurant we've never been to or it's a location we've never been to and so we couple that together on a trip and we call it a workation yes but we just were looking and like so this year we think we've already done maybe possibly two or three and we Mm -hmm. have one more scheduled right um i think one more probably this year we'll we'll will be it um so that looks like i don't know somewhere in the ballpark of three to four a year of these little trips that we do and so not to get it confused though we're not workaholics and we're not like we're not living life where we're working 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 all day every day and then we're doing this on top of that i just wanted to make that clear very good point yeah very good point so well, let's, well, then let's tell people why we do it. Like, why do we do workation? So we're self-employed. So people, just so that people know, um, we are in business for ourselves. So which means that at the end of the day, everything falls on us. And if there's mm-hmm. projects and things that we want to do or we need to move forward and we haven't, uh, no one, there's no one else to kind of point the finger at or mm-hmm. no one to look at or, um, you know, maybe you're in between like hiring a person, like you're like, maybe I could have an employee that would help me with this project or maybe not. And really it just, it stays on a list and they become like important things that we need to do. We just don't have time for them in the everyday kind of sense of right. like everyday work. And right. so to us, those are perfect, um, projects right. for a workation. Like, right. so for, for me, maybe it's like, it's creating. Maybe it's redoing a piece of media for us or um, uh, creating a blog post or something like that. These are things that I don't have time for uh, or I don't make time for. I don't put it on my daily work regiment just because of other things that we have going in the in the work and life realm. Right. Um, but a workation, it's a perfect time for that for me. Uh, for you, it's uh, I know for sure creating in our – like our local magazines. Content creation, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. Well, in our everyday life, you know, being an entrepreneur, being self-employed, there is a lot of flexibility. We're not going to lie. It's one of the pros of being self-employed. But that, with that flexibility, we kind of get pulled in a ton of different directions on an everyday basis. No no one day is the same as the next. So for us, this takes time. Like, hey, we're going to do this on the workation and so we can kind of schedule out our time that way so it it gets done but it gets done when we're like super focused and can get it done for sure during that time frame absolutely now that's a good point and i feel like we've you know it's not like we're experts at this it's not like we've been doing it for five years or anything i feel like we just started it a few years ago we said hey let's like we just have so much on our plate so many things undone at the moment like what if we what if we go somewhere? And we're not talking about, we don't go super far. Right. We stay within like a couple of hours for sure right. of our hometown. Sometimes we go, have we stayed in town yet? In, we have not. We have not. So we need to have that on our list. We did go uh, right across the bay, which is only like 30 minutes for us. So to Fairhope, Alabama, or 45 minutes, whatever. Um, and so so we, we're in Mobile, Alabama. So we don't go far. Uh, we're heading over to Ocean Springs. 
Springs, Mississippi, I mm-hmm. believe, is where we're gonna go coming up for um, for a few nights, and, and and we're still figuring it out, like how we do them, what's the best way. Like Mandy wants to do, I think, a three night trip. I feel like it's a little bit too much, even for me. Um, and I love getting up early with a cup of coffee and kind of getting started on a project, but I, I feel like maybe, you know two nights is probably enough. One for like budget, and two like how how focused I guess I can right. be in that time period. Um, but yeah, so it's something that we're we're constantly. I feel like we're trying to figure out and see how they work and how they operate. And if they stop being beneficial to us, we'll probably stop right. doing them. Right. Um, but for now, I feel like our first. I don't know. We've done three, four, five, maybe. Mm-hmm. Give it, give or take. Uh, I a feel, good few. I feel like they've all gone really well. We get a lot done. We get a lot done, and we. You and I, we have a fun experience. It's kind of like getting out of our own element, mm-hmm. right? Getting away from the house where there's, you know, the normal everyday distractions of, of food and house chores and laundry and whatnot. Um, so we also get our own time away, just you and I as a couple. Um, but then we get to work on our projects. And it's really cool because we go, we're not spending extravagant money. I mean, we, we're usually booking a place that's about 100 hundred bucks a night right. and it's kind of a yeah. business now i'm not saying it's like oh it's 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 cheap like by no means but you know we're not staying at a 300 hundred dollar a night five-star hotel we're staying right. at like my favorite is like what are, what are our favorite like i like the holiday inn the express holiday inn Express. and is there another one that i love or uh, is that... the hampton inn hampton inn these are these are like we love these mainly because they have free breakfast and mm-hmm. i dig the breakfast i wake up we don't have to cook um they're usually newer like oh, yeah. newer properties which yeah. we love a newer property um they have excellent workout facilities. Yeah, they have workout facilities, and that's like something that that yeah we do. So like we'll we'll wake up, we'll you know eat breakfast, we'll work out, we'll, you know we'll plan our day, and we'll say hey we'll work from this hour to this hour, or whatever, and then and we look forward to taking a break in the evening time for like right. t- for a dinner or something, um, or just whatever, just going out and having a break, you know, like grabbing a drink, grabbing dinner, whatever, you know, somewhere we've never been and getting to spend a little bit of time experiencing, and then we'll. Um, yeah, whatever, go to bed, wake up early, do it again. And then typically when we check out, you know, the checkout time, we can even hang it. We've actually done this once where we've, cool, okay, so we checked out and we hung out in the lobby for like a couple more yeah, hours, right? Yeah. And we're just kind of, it was a nice lobby. Stay. Yeah, right. I mean, we're just kind of hanging out in the hotel lobby and, you know, getting a little bit more work done before we, you know, had or needed to leave. And I thought that worked really well. Yeah. You know, you know that time. Um, so... I mean, really cool. I mean, it, it really works well for us. If you've never tried it, or you know, if you're self-employed, especially if you, especially if you work with your spouse, you know, for sure, right. it's like it's simple. If you work with your spouse, it's like you already want to go and like hang out and visit right. and try somewhere. You get to spend time with each other. But if you're single, or you, you know, if you don't have a spouse and you have a, a business on your own, I think just getting away from the house is the most important thing. Especially if you have children, you have pets, you have all the things. Whenever you walk through your home door you have the responsibility of your home and if you work from home then it just makes it much harder to be able to actually sit down focus and get something done especially if you have to do carpool drop off pick up sports after school you know your life kind of gets pulled in so many different directions the adventure of life yeah as i like to call it which you guys will hear us talk about or at least me for sure often on this on these recordings because i we think that business and life it's a giant adventure and i feel like maybe a number of years ago i i wouldn't say i was trying to fight that i was just tr- i didn't i didn't i didn't accept it right. for all, for what it was but it is and an adventure includes the things that you want sometimes the things that you don't want but it's it at the end of it all it is a giant adventure and so you know just embrace it enjoy yeah. it just take the ride you yeah. know I think we apply that to our workations as well. That's why we try to get out and go somewhere different, stay somewhere different, do something different um, with that time that we, we give ourselves. Totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. Any final thoughts for these people on workations? I would just say try it. Do it. Some people kind of go stir crazy if you say, hey, like go lock yourself up in a hotel room for a couple of days to get stuff done. But if that's not your style, maybe Brooks is a huge fan of coffee shops and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I would suggest just one full 24 hours away. Um, If you have projects, if you have things that you need to get work done um, to work on, I would say just try it. I love it. Just give it a go. 
So, all right, guys, give a workation a shot and let us know how it goes, and we'll connect with you guys next time. Bye.